Who's ready to play with some new luxury makeup? It's all just rolling in for the holidays, you guys. So let's go ahead and jump right into these swatches, create a look. I'm gonna show you guys a new technique for eyeshadow today, and then we will go over a quick review of what my thoughts are. Let's start. Let's go ahead and jump right into the Hermes eyeshadow palette. Now, I always like to read a little bit about the product description so that I make sure that what it's stating it says it will do actually does. So it states that the Hermes Quartet is composed of a graduated trio of powders, complemented by a fourth bold and unexpected shade, which I have a feeling is this one over here, and they all can be used individually or combined to create a subtle seamless blend of shadows. Something interesting about the design, because I'm a sucker for packaging, it states that Pierre Hardy plays with the geometric shapes and echoes the Bauhaus movement, which is really fun and playful. That said, let's go ahead and try these on. I'm going to show you guys a new look today, something that I've been playing with as far as technique, so we can have a little fun thinking outside the box. Taking my reefer brush in number 15, I'm going to just tap a little bit onto the brush and then apply it all over. You could start on the lower lid, which I recommend, and build up the color into that crease area and work in a rounded shape if you want to create a doe-eyed look, if you want to create something that is a little more sultry as well as create that feline type eye look, you'll go further into the corner and bring it out and extend it into a point. I'm going to do a round shape today. Pretty color. Wasn't sure how I was going to feel because when I did my first swatch on the back of my hand, it looked a bit patchy and I'm sure some of you noticed that too. But you never really know until you put it on the lid and you have a brush and you're blending it. So I am liking it far better than I thought I would. Keeping it simple, but we're going with the next brush now, so the Reefer 13. I'm gonna grab this next color, and this is a really pretty color. It's a, a brownish taupe, and it looks like it has a tiny bit of shimmer silver color in there. I'm going to place that on the center of the lid and work on that lash line back and forth. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow looks for those who want something very simple. It's a beginner eye look that really does translate beautifully for a day-to-day -day look. It's very sophisticated, it's polished. You could stop there if you want. A little blush, some lipstick, you're good to go. Just helps to draw the eyes out a bit and create a bit of a smoky look to the eye without it being too much. But you know we're gonna keep on going, so I'm gonna grab a little bit of these two together and place it on the inner corner and on the outer corner. Kind of creating a bit of a muffin top here. Hopefully you can see there's this shape here and then we're bringing it here and here. So basically what's happening here is we are opening the eye this way by keeping the center of light open and then we are also drawing the eye this way by emphasizing this corner and this corner. So it's a great way to really expand the eye all the way around. I'm using a Sculpt 27 brush. These are by Spectrum, adding a little of that silver. And we're going to go ahead and pop that right in the center where we do not have anything on right here. And just a little bit. We don't want a lot. We just want to use it to create a soft flick of light. You can put a tiny bit towards the center. You want to think of the sunset on a lake where you get that really pretty light that cascades. So you have that point and it moves out into the horizon. That's what we're trying to do here. So concentrate on the center and then just lightly extend up and out. Whatever's left on the brush, I'm going to go ahead and place on that inner corner. Once again, expanding this way and this way. And then we can add a tiny bit out here as well. This is one of my favorite eye looks to do when it comes to commercial and editorial work because it really helps to show depth and light all in one look. I'm gonna stop and take a moment and let you guys know that this palette being $108, I really need it to impress me. And so far, so very, very good. I'm finding that it's clinging to the skin. 
no fallout, very light. And for me, being in my 40s, headed towards 44, I'm definitely seeing texture. My lids are starting to droop a bit. They're not like this, like they used to be. I have a lid that's starting to hang over onto my lower lids. So I need something that blends seamlessly and doesn't grab. And this is just really light and soft. So liking it. All right, I'm gonna go in with an angled brush. This is the Sculpt Spectrum brush, and this is in number 26. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of that here. And I'm going to place it really close to the lash line. We're tight lining here. Now you can just place it on the outside if you want to create a bit of a lift or if you want to really bring the eyes out, I highly recommend doing it all the way across the lash line. Now, as you saw, I was on the top up here and then I brought my hand down here, placed that point on the inner corner and stamped it, which will help to not get a lot of fallout, but it also helps because it's doing a lot of the work for you. You're just stamping there and then you're going to wiggle underneath that lash line and move across. Loving this color story. And one word, sophisticated. Picking the reefer brush, and this is in 03. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of these two. I'm gonna go ahead and place this underneath the lash line. I have to try this color as a contour. So let's see what it looks like. Just got a little bit of that cool color to it which will help to create a soft shadow. See how this lines up with my bone structure? Now for the blush, we're going to wait, and I'm gonna use one of the lipsticks that I showed you guys in the swatches. But I'm gonna go ahead now, I'm going to do this eye on the other side, and then we'll get into our two luxury lipsticks. Let's get into this beauty. Now I have to say, I'm a sucker for packaging, and this is just sexy. It just has such a great look to it. But I want to note, it feels pretty cheap for the price. I have several of the lipsticks and they feel very luxurious. They come in metal and almost kind of like a ceramic feel. This is 100% plastic. It feels very light and not very luxe. Let's go ahead though and try the formula on. I'm gonna read a few key points here. It states, that with its melting texture, Rouge Stiletto Glossy Shine delivers an instant plumping effect with a glossy finish. A match made in heaven available in 12 shades. Lastly, it states it's designed to deliver up to six hours of shine, up to 12 hours of lip color impact, and up to 12 hours of being crease proof. All right, we shall see because these little lines on the upper lip for me do not play. Let's try it on. pretty 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 this is mm, gorgeous love the shine clinging to the lips i really do feel like it makes my lips look fuller what do you guys think let me know i love that it is really pigmented without being too rich and it really does glide on beautifully i feel the hydration love the shine it feels like it's clinging to the edge of my lips so we shall see i have to state though it has a little bit of a fragrance scent to it and I can taste a little bit which is not my favorite but if it makes my lips look like this and it doesn't move all day I'll deal with the scent <laughs> all right guys let's try the last lipstick on by Valentino this is the party edition lipstick and this is an 100R Roman Grace and I love the detail on the lipstick it's really nice a little Valentino label but I've bought a few and a lot of them dry out and snap Obviously, I've taken a break from the Valentino lipsticks, even though they have some of the best reds, as they should, Valentino Red being a signature color of the brand. Um, but this I'm having hopes for. This is the satin. It's a little more hydrating, so hopefully it not only feels good, but stays intact. So let's go ahead and read a few key points, and then we will try it on. It states that it's hydrating, soft matte finish, refillable lipstick, delivers striking color, limited edition white packaging. It has Roma Light Complex, light reflecting color boosting pearls lightweight lipstick feel with hydration
Okay, so after the Louboutin, it doesn't feel as hydrating, even though I'm reading that it has moisturizing oil, it's supposed to be an ultra comfortable, non-drying feeling, long-lasting lipstick. Compared to Louboutin, it's just very different. It is not the same luxurious feeling on the lid, but I like the color in this, and I do like how it's clinging to the lips. I like it a lot better once I put the blush on because I just felt like I look a little washed out, but that's just a color preference thing. Um, these two together, I think, are really lovely. In fact, I feel like I like it a little more as a blush than a lipstick. It's one of those preference lipsticks. I'm not saying I don't like it. I'm just saying I'm not in love with it. it feels good, just not great. And I think a lot of that has to do with me trying on the Louboutin lipstick first and having that nice buttery rich feel with that lacquered finish. If you are looking for a color similar to this that has hydrating buttery texture there is a color by clay de Poe called snapdragon and you guys ask me all the time what i'm wearing when i wear it and it is similar to this color but i feel like the clay de Poe has a bit of a better finish for those of us with fine lines or who have drier lines i would head in that direction but for those of you with younger fuller lips who don't need so much hydration you most likely will absolutely love this all right everyone there we have it if you guys have any questions or suggestions feel free to reach out to me lots of newness for the holidays so keep an eye out and if you guys like what you're seeing here on true voyage and you want to support me as a content creator or any content creator that you're watching and loving don't forget to subscribe use our affiliate links down below in the description box when you use those links it helps us to get a small commission and continue to do what we love and hopefully what you guys are enjoying as well and don't forget to hit that thumbs up and leave a comment, which is always the best part for me as a content creator is hearing from you all. And if you haven't had enough, you can head to TikTok or to Instagram where I show you many sneak peeks of up and coming newness and a few tips and techniques. And if you'd like to book me, I'm a professional makeup artist of 25 years, one-on-one, -on -one, head to shrevoyage.com. Everything is going to be in the description box down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. As always, take care of you, take care of each other, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now. Thank you.